Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this tutorial, I am going to explain you what is a concat function in SQL and how we can use them with some simple examples. To join two or more string into one, for that purpose, we use a concat function. The concat function can take two up to 255 input strings and joins them into one. It requires at least two input strings. If you pass one input string, the concat function will raise an error. If you pass a non-character string values, the concat function will implicitly convert those values into strings before concatenating. These functions also converts null values into an empty string with the type varchar of 1. This is the basic syntax of a concat function along with a simple example in which we have concatenated the last name and a string which calls job category is and the job id from the employees table having the where condition for an employee id equals to 152. So here you can see the output of the following example is the last name, the string job category is and the job id. Let me explain you how to use a concat function with some simple examples. This is the SQL command line interface and today we are going to use concat function on students table. Let me show you the data. For this just type select star from students. To learn more about select statement we have a separate video dedicated to select loss. Just click the I button here. After hitting enter. So these are the records present in the students table. In the first example, we will combine first name and last name column and we will rename it as a full name. For this, just type select. Now we don't need this first name and last name column. We will only fetch the student number column here. So student number comma. Now we have to use a concat function here to combine these two columns. Concat and again in between concat we have to use again concat function. To combine the first name and after that we need a space to separate the first name and last name. So concat in bracket first column which is first name comma now we need a space for that we will just give invert a comma and in between them one space so that the space will be automatically added between first name and last name column and first concat function is completed comma and the last name bracket close and we will rename this column as a full name so as full name which is a alias for this concat function from and the table name so students semicolon and enter so here you can see the student number column and the full name which is a newly added column where we use concat function to combine first name and last name column and here you can see the space between them we can also use where condition in conjunction with this concat functions to further filter out the data so in this case we will now get the student number and the full name column for this first record just copy the previous code and just add a where condition where student number equals to 20060101 so here you can see the records student number and full name for the 20060101 student number 
in the next example we will get into more complicated thing so for this we are using the employees table let me show you its metadata so dsc employees so these are the number of columns and the data types present in the employees table in this example we will combine first name and the string job category is and the job id column for this just type select concat and again in bracket concat in bracket now the first name comma and we have to use string which is this is used for the apostrophe s job category is and the string is completed by single inverted comma again comma and the job id job id bracket close from employees table semicolon and enter here you can see the employees and their job id we will further filter out the data by renaming the column for that just we have to use column alias here as job and we will use a where condition so in this case we will use employee id as 152 for example so just type where employee id equals to 152 after hitting semicolon and enter we will get the peter's job category is s a r e p so this was more complicated example than the previous one but i hope you got the clear idea how to use a concat function in sql to get more clarification over sql just watch my other sql videos link in the description below if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and also ring the notification bell to get latest updates.